tell me, how many times in your life you woke up and horses and water buffaloes paid you a visit without any invitation? Cheers, by the way. I certainly did not expect any guests that morning, but to say that I was pleasantly surprised would probably be not enough. All the sad moments that had happened to me before, that I'd lost the memory card, it started raining heavily last night and I almost got washed out together with my tent, all those things seemed to be insignificant and at that very moment they did not matter at all. I was surrounded by nature and I embraced it. You see, these moments inspire me the most and fuel me with new energy to move forward. All the answers are already out there and to find them sometimes you don't need much. All you need is just to be with yourself for a moment and embrace the greatness of nature. It's morning, I'm already tired. Packing and quick chain maintenance, I was ready to set off for the new adventure. Even though I was pretty late because of the horses' visit in the morning. I'm leaving finally. It's already well, um, kind of late. I didn't have any plans at that moment, but I knew for sure that I needed to find a place to eat because I was starving. How are you? You found me? One. I one can eat. One can't 有什么菜啊？菜那都很多啊。好嘞，我我选一下，我先把吃的放在那里。先叫个肉片吧。好嘞，还是挺大的。呃，微辣，微辣。然后加一个米饭就行了。You know, it's quite hard to find places to eat on the way when you travel alone because all the restaurants only offer dishes for a group of people. So I usually order some fried meat with vegetables, a bowl of rice, and I'm ready to go. After lunch, I decided to go to Chuzin city, which is already in Yunnan province. It was about 280 kilometers of riding on the highway. Chuzin has more accommodation options and there I had more chances to get a new memory card for my GoPro. Oh, you are good. Where are you from? I'm from Hainan. Yes. 你们住哪里的？桂林。啊，从桂林。去哪儿、啊？我我去那个曲靖。曲靖。你们去哪儿啊？拉萨。Those guys were crazy. It was clear that they were experienced riders and that was not their first motorcycle trip, but they were going to arrive in Dali from Guilin in one day, almost 1300 kilometers. Just mind-blowing. In general, it is very nice to meet people like yourself on the road, share a talk and make new friends. So guys, if you're watching this video, it was very nice to meet you and I hope to meet you on the road again. <laughs> 吃的跟要死的一样，你知道吗？海南的海南的吃的很厉害哦。那个特产。海南那个是生生的那个，咱们是生的吃的。这个绿色的。特别难吃。好的，走了啊，拜拜。啊，已经的。that day I basically rode on the highway the whole day. After camping last night, I wanted to arrive earlier in Tutin and take a good rest. Hunyu. While I'm riding to Chujin, let me tell you more about this city. It is located in the east of Yunnan province and borders Guizhou and Guangxi provinces, which is why it was named the Throat of Yunnan in the past. It is the second largest city in Yunnan in terms of economic strength. And another thing to mention, it was much cooler in Chujin than in other places I had visited on the trip.
nice. I was not in a rush that morning. The only thing I needed to do was to get a new memory card for my camera. But it was more challenging than it sounds. Please come on. Why is this happening to me all the time? It's very interesting. On the traffic lights, they have this letter H. In Russian, this is letter M. So it's very confusing for me because in Russian, we have the word NET, which starts with this letter and it means no. Now it makes sense when it's red, right? No passing. But uh, when the light turns green, the letter also turns green. So if you know, please let me know. Eventually, I found the card I needed and decided to stay in Tudin a little longer because it was still raining. You know, I like to ride around the new city to get the feeling of it and simply take a look at local people and their life. <laughs> Ah,你白天不坐的三百吗？对，三百。很厉害。厉害很酷。你是本地人吗？对，就是土著。啊，基金的嘛。我在土著看到了很多摩托车的，是我是从海南过来的。海南。对。出来呀。对。你有空可以